Good morning to everybody. Good morning. morning, Father. And let us bless our God in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us now call to mind our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May God Almighty have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Week four. My heart is ready, O oh God, my heart is ready. My heart is ready, O oh God. I will sing, sing your praise. Awake, my soul, awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations, I will praise you. For your love reaches to the heavens, your truth to the skies. O oh God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. O oh, come and deliver your friends. Help with your right hand and reply. From his holy place, God has made his promise. I will triumph and divide the land of Shechem. I will measure the valley of Sukkoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh. Ephraim I take for my helmet. Judah for my commander's staff. Moab I will use for my washbowl. On Edom I will plant my shoe. Over the Philistines I will shout in triumph. But who will lead me to conquer the fortress? Who will bring me face to face with Edom? Will you utterly reject us, O God, and no longer march with our armies? Give us help against the foe, for the help of man is vain. With God, we shall do bravely, and he will trample down our foes. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. My heart, My heart is, is ready, ready, O God. God. My, My heart, heart is ready. ready. The Lord has clothed me in a garment of justice and the salvation. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My soul shall exult in my God, for he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with a robe of righteousness. As a bridegroom decks himself with a garland, and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as the garden causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to bring forth be before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest until her vindication goes forth as brightness and her salvation as a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication and all the kings your glory, and you shall be called by a new name which the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. You shall no more be termed forsaken, and your land shall no more be termed desolate. But you shall be called my delight in her, and your land married. For the Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. For as a young man marries a virgin, so shall your sons marry you. And as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride, so shall your God rejoice over you. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord has clothed, clothed me in a garment, garment of justice, of justice and, and salvation. salvation. I will praise my God all my days. My soul give praise to the Lord. I will praise the Lord all my days. 
Make music to my God while I live. Put no trust in princes, in mortal men in whom there is no help. Take their breath, they return to clay, and their plans that day come to nothing. He is happy who is helped by Jacob's God, whose hope is in the Lord his God, who alone made heaven and earth, the seas and all they contain. It is he who keeps faith forever, who is just to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. The Lord who gives sight to the blind, who raises up those who are bowed down, the Lord who protects the stranger and uphold the widow and orphan. It is the Lord who loves the just, but towards the part of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, Zion's God, from age to age. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. I will, I will praise, praise my, my God, God all my days. days. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, graciously keep from us all adversity, so that, unhindered in mind and body alike, we may pursue in freedom of heart the things that are yours. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Remind your people that it is, their, it is their duty to be obedient to the officials and representatives of the government, to be ready to do good at every opportunity, not to go slandering other people or picking quarrels, but to be courteous and always polite to all kinds of people. Remember, there was a time when we too were ignorant disobedient and misled and enslaved by different passions and luxuries. We lived then in wickedness and ill will, hating each other and hateful ourselves. But when the kindness and love of God, our Savior for mankind, were revealed, it was not because he was concerned with any righteous actions we might have done ourselves. It was for no reason except his own compassion that he saved us by means of the cleansing water of rebirth and by renewing us with the Holy Spirit, which he so generously poured over us through Jesus Christ, our Savior. He did this so that we should be justified by his grace to become heirs looking forward to inheriting eternal life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Fresh and green are the pastures where he gives me repose. Near restful waters he leads me to revive my drooping spirit. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me along the right path, he is true to his name. If I should walk in the valley of darkness, no evil would I fear. You are there with your crook and your staff. With these you comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I shall want. You have prepared a banquet for me in the sight of my foes. My head you have anointed with oil. My cup is overflowing. The Lord, Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Surely goodness and kindness shall follow me all the days of my life. In the Lord's own house shall I dwell forever and ever. The Lord, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. Through the good news God called us to share the glory of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
Alléluia, 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 Alléluia. My sisters, my brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. On the way to Jerusalem, Jesus traveled along the border between Samaria and Galilee. As he entered one of the villages, ten lepers came to meet him. They stood some way off and called to him, Jesus, Master, take pity on us. When he saw them, he said, Go and show yourself to the priest. Now as they were going away, they were cleansed. Finding himself cured, one of them turned back, praising God at the top of his voice, and threw himself at the feet of Jesus and thanked him. The man was a Samaritan. This made Jesus say, We are, were not all ten made clean. The other nine, where are they? It seems that no one has come back to give praise to God except this foreigner. And he said to the man, Stand up and go on your way. Your faith has saved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So here we have ten lepers asking for mercy. Well, two things are important here. Just saying asking, you, you have to understand that it's a cry from deep within. A cry from deep within, a deep cry. And they didn't say we want to be healed, but they asked for mercy. And that's because they're not just looking for a healing, but they want only not to be released from the disease, but from the heavy load of sin and guilt. Don't forget that they used to see these things happen to them as a result of sin. So they, they really, you know, beaten down the way they felt. So they are sin for mercy. They are sin for deliverance from social isolation. So you could understand the, 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 where the cry is coming from. There's a, there's a inset hopelessness inside of them, and they want to be cured. No, they want their body and soul and mind and spirit to be restored. They're asking for social inclusion and for social love. That's, that's what the cry is all about. It's not just to be healed of leprosy. It's about the whole life. Now, God's mercy will always, can always remove such suffering and misery and bring the healing of mind, body, soul, and heart. And so they have to be very happy because we are told that Jesus saw them. Now, he heard them. He's always listening. So he knows very well what they asked him for. Yeah? And so he responded to their needs and redeemed them. Redeemed them. Yeah? So this is the, the, the first, this is very important, yeah? very, very important, what I just said. And I believe that this is the first lesson. The first lesson that we have to realize the fact that mercy is for the total restorative justice to restore me heart, body, soul, and mind. Huh? And God's mercy can do all of that. God's mercy can do all of that. Now, the other part that is important, only one of them responds with gratitude. And Jesus tells us that the one that responded was a Samaritan. And it's twice referred to the fact that only one responded. So he's trying to tell us that his own people 
they thought it was a privilege. In other words, God has to do that for us. He owes us. God does not owe anybody anything. No? So probably that is why they didn't think of giving thanks. But not the foreigner, not the Samaritan. The Samaritan realized what happened to him. No? So he responded with gratitude. One spiritual writer, and I like this, says, Gratitude is the memory of the heart. How do you like that? Heart remembers. Gratitude is a memory of the heart. Or another person says, it is a homage of the heart. So what it means then is that gratitude leads to the act of thanksgiving and the release inside of the person for the other person. Love and praise and respect. So that when somebody does something wonderful to us and respond in gratitude, it's like there's a release of love and respect, love and praise and things like that. No? And that is the approach that God wants us to have to life. That that's, that's should be the disciples' approach to life. To be always grateful for the numerous blessings of God, even for our very life, and take nothing for granted. He does not owe us anything. This is not a privilege. It is God's mercy. And once we respond to this with gratitude, it should lead to thanksgiving. And as I said, the release of love and praise. Just like Mary, when she says, My soul magnifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior. So you could understand that whatever God did to her, you realize her gratitude. It's a total homage to God. It's a release of praise and joy because of what God has done. And God is looking for all of us to do the same thing, now. All of us to do the same thing. And the Eucharist is a special place where Catholics understand that we should start doing it. Eucharist, thanksgiving. That should be our life. And that is why people who can attend daily should. You know? <laughs> Start out praising God all the time. Lord, I remember. My heart will never forget. My heart remembers what you have done for me from my childhood, even in my mother's womb, until now. And I believe you will continue to do wonderful things for me. So my heart remembers my heart rejoices. My heart gives thanks. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. Father, give us your strength. Father, Father, give, give us, us your, your strength. strength. Praise be to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he gave us new birth into a living hope by his son's resurrection from the dead. To him we pray. Father, Father give, give us, us your strength. strength. Turn our eyes to Jesus Christ, your son. May he lead us in our faith and bring it to perfection. Father, Father give, give us, us your, your strength. strength. We pray for cheerfulness and a generous heart. May we bring joy to our homes, to our work, and to all whom we meet. Father, Father give us your strength. strength. We pray for all who are working today. Be with them at home, in the city, in the factory, and in the fields. Father, Father give, give us, us your strength. strength. We pray for those who have no work. We pray for the disabled and the sick, and for those who cannot find work, and for those who are retired. Father, Father give, give us, us your, your strength. strength. Let us sit with Francis and Jason, our bishops, and let us pray that their pastoral care may inspire believers to count our many blessings and with grateful hearts give thanks always in all circumstances, we pray. Father, Father give, give us, us your strength. strength. Lord, as you hear the cry for mercy from the ten lepers, so hear the cry of the sick among us. The cry for mercy and healing, we pray. Father, give, give us, us your strength. strength. Give us today, dear Lord, our daily bread. 
and a deep and great desire to give you thanks and bless your name forevermore. We pray. Father, Father give us, us your strength. strength. May the grace of the Holy Eucharist build in us grateful hearts, thanksgiving dispositions, and eyes of faith to recognize, dear Lord, your loving kindness and mercy, and to respond by glorifying your name and rejoicing in you, our Savior. And we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread. We offer you fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, May we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted, accepted by you, O Lord. And may our sacrifice in your sight today be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Wash us, Lord, from our iniquity and cleanse us from our sin. Pray, my sisters, pray, my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look with favor, we pray, O Lord, our God, upon the sacrificial gifts offered here, that celebrating in mystery the passion of your Son, we may honor it with loving devotion through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Save them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is only right that all your creatures serve you. All the redeemed praise you. And all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy. Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Holy Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Save, Save us, Savior of the world. For by your, your cross and resurrection, resurrection you, you have set, set us free. free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jason, our Bishop, all the religious, the clergy, and your entire people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And we lift up to the Lord, Olivia Gray. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. My dear friends, let us now call out to God, our Father, and give thanks and praise to God, who owes us nothing. We have no privilege with him, and yet he has blessed us in so many ways. Let us respond with thanksgiving and hallow his name as we say, Our, our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will be done on earth, earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the and glory, glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give to you. Look not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your holy will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Moved by God's love, let us share with one another the divine peace, the peace of God. The peace of God. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the 
sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Jesus, Lamb of God, grant us peace. Grant us peace. Grant us peace. My sisters, my brothers, behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away our sins and the sins of all the world. Blessed are those of us who come and share in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ be for us a healing remedy and keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. I am the, the bread, bread of life. life. He, he who comes, comes to me shall not hunger. He who believes in me shall not thirst. No one can come to me unless the Father draw him. And, and I will raise him up. And I will raise him up. And I will raise him up. The, last day. the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. And he who eats of this bread, he shall live forever. He shall live forever. And I will raise him up. And I will raise and, and I, I will raise him up on the last day. Unless you eat of the flesh of the Son of Man and drink of his blood, and drink of his blood, you shall not have life within you. And I will raise him up. And I will raise him up, and I will raise him up on the last day. And I will raise him up, and I will raise him up, and I will raise him up. I am the resurrection, I am the life, and he who believes in me, even if he dies, he shall live forever. 
and I will raise him up, and I will raise him up, and I will raise him up on the last day. Let us, dear friends, make the act of spiritual communion. My Lord Jesus, you are the Alpha, the Omega. You are our all in all. And Lord Jesus, you come to us in the most holy sacrament of the Eucharist because you want to be with us and until the end of time and into all eternity, Lord Jesus. We love you above all else and we desire to receive you in our hearts and souls and minds. But Lord, at this moment, we cannot receive you sacramentally. So we beg you, Lord, to come to us in a spiritual manner, to come to us, Lord, and to, to dwell in our hearts and minds and souls, to embrace us that we will know that we truly belong to you, so that with that blessed assurance, Lord, we embrace you and give you thanks and praise and unite ourselves wholly and completely to you. And Lord, never permit us to be separated from you. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness all our Amen. days. Blessed be the Lord, the God, God of Israel. He has, he has visited, visited his people and redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David, his servant, as he promised by the lips of holy ones, those who are his prophets from of old. A Savior who is free us from, us from all foes, from the hands of, of all who hate us. us. So his, his love for our fathers is, is fulfilled. fulfilled. And, and his, his holy covenant, covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our foes, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. As for you, little child, you shall be called a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go ahead of the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people of their salvation through forgiveness of all of their sins, the loving kindness of the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high. He will give light to those in darkness, those who dwell in the shadow of death, and guide us into the way of peace. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us serve the Lord in holiness, in holiness all, all our, our days. days. Let us pray. Nourished by this sacred gift of Eucharist, O Lord, we give you thanks and beseech your mercy, that by the pouring forth of your Holy Spirit, the grace of integrity may endure in those your heavenly power has entered through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God spirit. Almighty bless you and keep you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God. And enjoy your day, my friends. Same to you, Father. Number 260-260. Now thank we all our God. Now thank we all our God with hearts and hands and voices. 
who wants us things not done, in whom his world rejoices, who from our mother's arms and bless us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. O oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us and keep us in his grace and guide us when perplexed and free us from all ills in this world and the next all praise and thanks to god the father now be given the son and him who reigns with them in highest heaven, the one eternal God, who earth and heaven adore, for thus it was, is now, and shall be ever.